up guys i'm so tired today's friday which is my off day so i'm getting ready to start my day nice and late i rarely wake up after eight malachi is awake and yelling for me already i just quickly want to put on my workout clothes so that i can get a quick workout in while he's eating his breakfast Y'all are about to see one hectic day. Because I got plans. Oh, don't say that. I'm super in line. In a row. I look too good. Okay, anyway. <laughs> this is what my day is looking like today. I have a workout to do this morning. I'm gonna take care of Malachi while I do that. Then I gotta bundle us up because it's cold as hell outside. I guess hell isn't cold. It's really, really cold outside. So. We're gonna bundle up and go over to the thrift shop and then I need to go to Walmart. Guys, I've been planning to go to the thrift shop in Walmart for like the past three weeks on my Fridays that I have off. So we are gonna see if it's actually gonna happen today. But the ultimate goal is to enjoy my off day while getting a few things done to prepare for a party that I'm going to tonight. I'm not gonna brush my teeth right now because I wanna brush my teeth with my son. My son is a year and a half-ish and he is learning to brush his teeth. Not that good at it yet. On days that I wake up late like this, I try to save my teeth brushing to do with him so he can follow my lead. Y'all ready to see? Let's go. I'm there with my satin bonnet on this little boy going to try to take my head off. I don't know what his obsession is with these things. the city, I don't feel in my took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins. I do it for real, it's no reason to pretend. If I do it once, I do it again. Add it up, add it up, bank roll, your roll, your roll, pay so, pay so, add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Good morning to you, good morning to me. We're all in our places with bright shining faces. This is the way to start our new day. You ready for your diaper to get changed? Ah! Uh. Oh, come on, let's change your diaper soon. Maybe you're gonna lay down. Mommy wants to lay back down too, Bubba Sugar. <laughs> Mommy's gonna get you. Bubba Sugar! Bubba Sugar! It's time to change your bed. Mommy can do this the easy way. Oh, Mommy can do this the hard way. <laughs> Come on. Powder. It's too heavy. I don't know why you want to put it on the stick. Mm -hmm. Alright guys. 
it's time for us to brush the teeth. You ready? The faucet's dripping because it was one of those fr freeze overnights. So he's over there playing with the dripping faucet. I guess I can turn them off now, huh? Because it's morning. Brush, 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 brush your teeth in the morning and night. who like a little cocktail after the end of the day, 
I'm about to put you on to something. Every morning, or at least once a day, my son eats one of these little fruit cups. He loves the pineapple one. And I love pineapple juice to go in a cocktail. So I save the juice from Indies and I put it in these little containers from when he was breastfeeding. And yeah, I just keep all this juice to mix later. Stretching is one of my favorite parts of the day, hands down. During and after pregnancy, muscle and bone stiffness became so annoying. It's like you don't understand how important each part of your body is until one of them stops working. Personally, I made it my goal to maintain flexibility and physical fitness after my pregnancy. Not only did it speed up the process to feeling more like myself, but it also gives me a sense of self-investment and challenge each day. You guys have probably seen me do a lot of like upper body back workouts lately. And that's just because I'm on a new regimen of doing Monday. I, I'm trying to work out at least three times a week, sometimes four if I can but at least three times. The first day of the week that I work out, I try to do back. The second day of the week that I work out, I do arms. And the third day, I'll do legs. I switched it up to do upper body first because with upper body pains, I can still function every day. I have back issues as it is, so I'm always, I'm almost always in discomfort in the upper body area anyway. But lower body, if I work out lower body first thing in the week, it makes walking, moving, uh, exercising all that much harder for the whole rest of the week. So I just hit lower body last because I don't work out on the weekends. If you're a work from home mom, at home workouts are gonna be like a godsend. Call me Bucky New, lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about this rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how he found the hood, but still gon' go legitimate? Uh, how he fuck a bunch of b but they still respect the women. He's the rolling, it's another. He just got the windows tinted. Homie stab me in the back, and that can never be forgiven. And my pines been itching, man. I like the superstition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple minutes. When I get high, I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra. Yeah. So, a tip for my mamas. Movement is key when getting through postpartum. Ladies, postpartum can be the most challenging part of a woman's life. So take baby steps, be patient with yourself, and celebrate your growth and journey at any moment you can. The most important thing to remember is it's not about trying to get your body back. It's about learning and loving the strengths and weaknesses of this beautiful new body you have now. I'm so epidemic, I'm a cause an epidemic Put my feet up in the building, bet, 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 like a When I get high I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra Yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm falling like yeah I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra I have always loved to party and dance. So during postpartum, dance workouts help boost my spirits and remind me of who I am. Keeping your workouts simple and fun, especially in the beginning, will help you to get the most joy out of meeting your goals. Tell grandma. Well, mommy's gonna put grandma in here to talk to you.
Say, this is my outside fit. Okay. Let's see. Go ahead. Go ride on your bike outside. I'm trying not to sit down. They say that's bad. They said you're supposed to stand up and move around after your workout. Don't sit down right away. So that's what I'm doing. I'm about to go have me a bowl of fruit. Then I'm gonna get showered, dressed, makeup on, and uh, Malachi's already dressed. I just have to throw him in the car seat. And then we're gonna head to go get some lunch, and then we're gonna go to the store. The stores. I love you. Say you love mama. <laughs> In my time working as a stay at home, working from home mom, I have learned that you should clean as you go about your day. If you save your cleaning till the end of the day, your house will look scary by the end of the day. That's something my parents taught me, my mom taught me big time as a kid, but I never really knew how important it was until now becoming a mom. I'm gonna make her a bowl of fruit, okay? Baby, you guys want to make a bowl of fruit? Usually, my like favorite combination of fruit salad would be banana grapes and mandarin orange with like either pomegranates. There's one fruit that's almost like passion or dragon fruit, but it's yellow and it's really weird. I'll tell you guys all about it one day, but it's, I found it at Albertsons one day and tried it and it doesn't taste good by itself. It's just weird by itself, but it does taste good when you add it to your fruit salad. It like, mm. I'm doing my breakfast now, even though it's practically lunchtime already. I just don't wanna go out to uh, get food and then get like a lot of food because I'm so hungry. As you can see, I had all these interruptions and my workout ran way later than it was supposed to. So now it's already almost lunchtime and I just need to get something in so that when I do go out and get lunch in a bit, I'm not ravenous. This economy is not set up for you to go out and eat a feast when you go out to eat. You have to be reasonable and order off the dollar menu. That dollar menu be doing it. That dollar menu be doing it. That dollar menu be doing it. Watch me whip. <laughs> you don't know, you don't know. 
You want me to get you some water? Yes? Say water. Yes? Okay, chokers. Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. Hello, Hello Charles. Yeah, nice to meet you. Ah, good. Through the gate. And that's a marble. What are you doing? Modern day Don't throw. Just you pass it to me. Surrounded by ancient architecture. History. Thank you. Here we go, we're starting at one of the most legendary bakeries in the city. What exactly is the box? Which represents the football club in Napoli. This is the bank of the water. Wow, all the oranges, the lemons. It's limonata. If you want to translate it, uh, it means Okay, I'm gonna put a couple of toys in there. You can hang out while I shower. On days that I run late in the morning and decide to sleep in, I have to do my shower with Malachi around. So I just move all my toiletries out here because if I try to do my my toiletry stuff in there. He's gonna come in and out just taking my toiletries in and out of the room, misplacing stuff. So we're gonna do stuff out here. What am I going to wear today? Please get out of the get do. I keep trying to explain to you that this is not for you. And yet, you continue to grab it. these away. Good, Kai Kai. Thank you here. What about this one? Put this one away. Put, oh. Put it away. There you go. Let's bring in Riley. Come on, Riley. Alright, Kai. It's time to go. It's time to go. Let's put on your shoes. Oh wait, I forgot we gotta change your diapers. Think. Come on, let's change your diaper. Wow. <laughs> Alright. Let's get you some aqua for the road. Let's go! <laughs> it's cold out here, Jokers. We gotta hurry up and get in the car, okay? Be careful, Kai. Me, I'm way too, too 
fly to be coming down, dishing out game for the free. I'm way too. Too fly not to go out running numbers up and hit them with a feel. Too way too. Too dry to be hitting on the dripping. Where you wanna be? I'm ran up my partners, I'm too aggravated now. They know that I'm popping, I ain't had to say it now. I've been out here living, let them actors play around. She gon' let me rub it, flip it, smack it, lay it down. Big racks on the line. It's Big cool, it's yours. It's so cool out here. Oh, there are people here. Oh, no, it's just me and my baby. Thank you. I hope it's good. It's very good. Yes. Thank you. Mommy wants the fry pad, Mommy. And then we'll share a pizza. The kids' menu is basically just as expensive as the rest of the food. I don't, I don't see a difference in the kids' menu versus everything else. You like mushrooms? What about black olives? What about pepperoni? Ooh, you want... Do you want a dessert? We want the pizza. And done one of your personal pieces before. I think they're a decent size, right? 10 inch. 10 inch, like this. Uh -huh. With uh, pepperoni on it and mushrooms. Fry calamari. Look for something else. I'm gonna put okay. the calamari. That tea is good. It's raspberry tea. Do you even eat Alfredo? The last thing I want is to get something so expensive for you to waste it, sir. Mm. <laughs> I think that's it. That's it. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh, it might be hot. Yeah, it's hot. And now Kai tries lemon for the first time. You like it? Oh my gosh. That's his reaction, guys. He likes it. Now he's gonna play with it. You can't hold it, you will spin it. Wait for it to cool down. Mm. That
as a parent i always have this extreme like in the back of my head fear of my child choking out in public it's sad but it's true it's a real fear <laughs> i'm like of all places for you to choke on a piece of food are you gonna make it when we're out in public <laughs> Look, we're gonna put it in here. Yeah. Oh, look, you yeah, gotta close this part in. Now close it. Oh, I'm ready for the check too with you. Thank you. I like that it says like a slow place. It's really nice to come out, right? bedtime and I want to go to sleep. Today it's time for my nappy nappy nap. <laughs> we will be home in like two minutes. Malachi was trying to fall asleep in the store um, but I need to keep him awake. He's a little past his nap time but as long as he can stay awake until we get home he will sleep very well for nap time so I'm just trying not to let him sleep. Hey sugars, it's okay. And I'm also trying very hard not to speed. <laughs> you ready to go take a nap? Yes, let's go inside. Ladies and gentlemen, I was successful at nap time. <laughs> I'm gonna let this dog out. Now I just have to wait around for a time for a time to get ready to go. I did not go to the thrift shop. That wasn't the highest on the list of priorities. That was something I wanted to do. Did not get to do it. So I'm gonna have to dig through my closet to find something to wear to the party. It is like a game night. It's like a girl's game night. So I'm, I should just be dressed fine. If I wanna wear this, I can. Um, if I feel like changing, I, I was going to make some treats for the party. Um, I'm still gonna make something. I was gonna make piggies in a blanket and brownies, but I left the brownie mix at the stove. I totally forgot it. And then uh, I did get the ingredients for the piggies in a blanket, so I'm gonna quickly make those. How did I forget that the groceries are still in the car? Uh, 
I'm not going to be too, too complicated with making these piggies in a blanket. One of my favorite things about piggies in a blanket, especially for parties, is that they are super, super simple. The dough inside the container is really supposed to be used to make croissants, but I'm going to use them for this because they're buttery, flaky, and delicious. I'm going to get started by just tearing the dough pieces in half. Once all of my dough is ready, I'm going to wrap each of my little piggies into the dough. A little tip I learned about piggies in a blanket is that they are even better with cheese. So I get the cheddar style little smoky sausages. Piggies in a blanket. I did such extra foil because once it comes out the oven, I'm literally folding the foil over and taking it just like that. That's called efficient laziness. I like the way that sounds. Once each piggy is wrapped, I'm going to stick the whole tray inside the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes. At least that's what the pack says. I may do it a little longer depending on how it comes out. I want them to be nice and golden brown. He loves these. At the beginning of the week, I boil like 10 eggs for the week. And Sadiq and I eat that for breakfast in the morning. Sometimes I'll try and slip Kai one in the morning, but he will not eat an egg, no matter how you serve it to him. But we make it work. I'm gonna go ahead and knock out these dishes too while I'm in here. on the weekends or, or on any of my days off because I usually spend those days doing things a little out of my normal routine. Maybe I should have some water. I've had tea when I went out, tea this morning, and I want more tea. I'm going to drink a little water and then I'll have some tea. I'm gonna down this water. That way I know, even if I drink no more water for the day, I got something and lots of tea. Bath time. Oh, Kai, no! Oh, purple tonight. Purple is my favorite color. 
That wraps up my very full off day. Now I'm gonna head home and get some much needed rest. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. And you already know this. If you enjoy it, please make sure to hit like and subscribe and share it with someone you think would enjoy it too. Until next time guys, stay well. Peace.